Hi everybody, Ms. Parks here, and we are going to have some musical fun with the book Caps for Sale. Oh, where it is? There it is. You can see that this is a well-loved copy. Some of my kids scribbled on it, which is not a good thing to do to a book, but they didn't know any better when they did it. They were very little. And I think probably many of you have heard this story before. So we're going to add some music to this book like this. So this is a picture of the peddler coming into town. The peddler is someone who sells things. He sells caps. And when he comes into town, he sings a song. It goes like this. Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Can you try it with me? Here we go. Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. So now we're going to put the song and the rhythm together. So we've got can you sing it with me? Here we go. Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Give me rhythm. 50 cents a cap, 50 cents a cap. Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Yeah, I moved to a new spot so I could do stand up and have you see everything. You can't see my feet though, but you can hear them, right? Caps for sale. Let's try it again. Whole thing. Singing first. Caps. Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Go. 50 cents a cap, 50 cents a cap. Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Now, if you're going to sit down the whole time, you could clap the 50 cents a cap. Oh, sorry, the claps for sale part. Let's try that. 50 cents a cap, 50 cents a cap. Caps for sale. 50 cents a cap. Let's try it that way one time with the song. Here we go. Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Let's go. 50 cents a cap, 50 cents a cap. Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. I wonder if you can do that rhythm without the words. Let's try it once. Here we go. Well, we're ready to hear the story Caps for Sale. And you know your part where you sing the song and do the rhythm when the peddler sings about what he has for sale. I will help you. The book is called Caps for Sale. And the name of the author is tricky for me. I think it's Esfier Slobonkina. I will have to look it up. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head, all his hats. Have you ever tried to wear more than one hat on top of your head or even walk around with a book on your head to see if you can balance it? You could try that after this. First, he had on his own checked cap. It's kind of hard to see the pictures. I'll try and put them up close. Then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps. On the very top, he had a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, here we go, you ready? I'm gonna to have to put the book down to do the rhythm part. Okay, here we go. Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Then you got 50 cents a cap, 50 cents a cap. Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Let's try it again. This time, I will do the caps for sale part with a clap in case that's what you're doing. Sing the song. Here we go. Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. 50 cents a cap, 50 cents a cap. Caps for sale, 
50 cents a cap. See, I almost forgot what to do. So you see, teachers make mistakes too. All right. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. So he walked up the street and he walked down the street calling. Here we go again. Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. 50 cents a cap, 50 cents a cap. Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he, and he walked out of town. Slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his cap. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put his hand up to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. Okay. Do you notice something's missing? But before standing up, he felt for his he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. What happened to the caps? He looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked in back of him. No caps. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. And on Every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. Let's see, get the picture in the, the picture in the picture. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger. You monkeys, you. Can you shake your finger when we say that? You monkeys, you. Let's see, I have to hold the book like this and shake my finger. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, And you know, since this is music, and we like to make our voice go very high sometimes, let's practice our big high head voice by making some monkey sounds like this. Can you make some monkey sounds like that? You could even jump up and down like a monkey if you wanted to when we do that part. This 
made the peddler angry. So he shook both his hands at them and said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my caps! But the monkeys only shook their hands back at him and said, so let's see what that would look like. They shook their hands back at him. And can you make that high sound with your voice again? Oh, 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 oh. So the monkeys shaking their hands. Now he felt quite angry. He stomped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. Can you do that? You stamp your feet and you know what kind of voice we're going to use. Oh, 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 oh. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. I am having a hard time getting the picture in the book. <laughs> he stamped both his feet and shouted, you monkeys, you! You must give me back my caps! But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, And what else? Oh, 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 oh! At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. see what the monkeys will do. But then each monkey pulled off his cap and all the gray caps, all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. Peddler's happy. I bet he is. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly Slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps! Can you sing it with me? Here we go. It's been a while since the beginning of the book. Let's sing our song and do our rhythm. Here we go. Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! Get your hands ready. Here we go. Fifty cents a cap! Fifty cents a cap! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap, and there you go.